Hello guys! You'll have to excuse my nails in this video. I'm just trying to take them all off so I can do a new set. But welcome or welcome back to my channel if you don't know who I am. My name is Embla. Today's video is something I'm very excited about but also something that I'm kind of dreading. We're going to be doing a closet clean out video. I love watching these videos. I think they're so satisfying. I also love cleaning out my closet. I actually do like even though it's kind of hard, it's messy and it's hard to kind of choose what to get rid of. I also love doing it because I love creating new space in my wardrobe and kind of like only having things that I love. I'd say I've been pretty good with doing closet cleanouts like pretty regularly. Also, since I moved to London, I kind of went through my closet and I only really brought things over that I really loved or so I thought because right now there's a lot of stuff that I don't love at all. So, But yeah, I think it's really important to kind of take time to go through your closet and only have things in your closet that you're gonna use and you really, really like because you end up like getting more use out of it and it makes it so much easier to get dressed in the morning when you kind of look into your closet and you only have things that you really, really like. The lighting in our bedroom is really bad. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys everything thing. Melody is always playing with the strings on this sweater. She loves this sweater because she can play with the strings on the back. Yeah, this is my wardrobe. This is where I keep all my clothes. And then in this dresser behind me, I have like jeans, workout stuff. We're gonna start by going through this closet right here. This is like all my main stuff, all my tops, skirts, dresses, some jackets. On the bottom here, we also have some mess. I have to keep all my necklaces here because if they're outside, the cats will just absolutely demolish them them as you can see by melody going in there right now and then right here this closet doesn't even open up fully but we have some sweatshirts up there and then here i just have some like coats and jackets and then down here we actually have some space and right now i'm just keeping some sweaters and also some shorts so i think i'm just going to start by emptying the closet and putting everything on the bed so i can kind of go through what i want to keep and what i want to give away shelf this is what she's looking like we still have to go through this top shelf right here but i'm going to show you guys everything that i decided to get rid of so these are the things that i'm definitely getting rid of either selling or giving to friends or donating i haven't really decided yet this corset from urban afters is absolutely beautiful but i just never use it and i don't think it's very flattering on me corsets are kind of supposed to like push your boobs up but this kind of just like flattens them down and i do not have enough to work with to begin with for this to work so we're getting rid of this this top is from tiger mist it's just like a pink little tank top and i've held on to this for way too long for some reason i just could not get rid of it but i've never ever left the house wearing it like it's cute but if i haven't worn it already i've had it for like two years i think it's time to get rid of it i got this top from monkey i have a lot of stuff from monkey because i used to work there it's like an asymmetrical neck long sleeve tee it's actually kind of cute but I just don't really see myself wearing this a lot. We just have a couple basics H&M halter neck I've never used this. I don't think it's that flattering and then we have this Zara tank top Which is like kind of cute. It has like a little strap across the neck But I've only worn this like once in the year that I've had it I've never like felt great in it. So I think it's okay to get rid of this <laughs> Now these jeans I love these jeans when I first got them. They're from Motel Rocks and like a zebra print i got like obsessed with zebra print like a year ago and i just never wear them i've worn them literally like once and i haven't worn them in like a year i do still think they're cute and i'm scared that i might kind of regret maybe getting rid of them in like a few years but i don't know i think it's like not worth just holding on to like in case i might want to wear them in a year like if i really 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 want them back then i'll just buy a new pair that's like kind of wasteful but i just don't 
don't really see myself wearing them anyway I have a bunch of clothes that I just kind of like bought for one makeup look or something This is one of them. It's just like green t-shirt. It's not that cute <laughs> And then I have this I just needed something red for a makeup look and this is the only thing that I could find and um Yeah, I'm not gonna be wearing this then I have this motel skirt It's just a basic black mini skirt, but it just doesn't really fit me right It's a bit too big so it doesn't sit on the waist It kind of sits on the hips in a weird way I actually used to love this blouse right here and I would wear it so much I just haven't worn it in a long time and I don't really see myself wearing it anytime soon I feel like I've kind of grown out of it even though I still think it's very cute this top oh my god guys I've had this top for so freaking long it's from Brandy Melville and it's very pretty but the thing is I bought it when I was like literally 16 17 and I've always been like yeah it's so cute I'm gonna wear it but then I never wear it I never ever reach for it I don't know why because it's cute at this point it's like I've had this for like five six years not even kidding it's in pristine condition because I've never actually worn it so it's like actually really good but like if I haven't worn it by now, I don't think I'm ever going to. It's time to finally say goodbye to this one. It's kind of the same vibe with this little top. It's like a little button-up blouse. It's very pretty. It's from Princess Polly, but this is like the kind of top that I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna wear it, and then I never do. I think I wore it once this summer, and I wasn't really that obsessed with it. The buttons kept popping open, so I was kind of scared that I was gonna be flashing people. Something about it just isn't it even though it's super cute so it's going this is like my favorite cardigan it's from monkey but the thing is it just has a stain that i cannot get out and i've even worn it like with the stain it's just like a little lipstick stain on the sleeve it's not too bad i just think it's time for her to go because i can find a cardigan that i like that doesn't have a stain we have this little long sleeve shirt from monkey it has like a zip here long sleeve never use it doesn't really suit me then we just have some leggings that are way too big for me and then this top from motel rocks it's like a turtleneck long sleeve and then it has like an open back it's super cute but the thing about this is i never really reach for it because it's so uncomfortable so uncomfortable i just think it's too small for me and the fabric is like not stretchy at all so it's very uncomfortable even though i like it i think it's cute it's just not worth it to be wearing something that uncomfortable when i can probably find something similar that's more comfortable i don't reach for things that i know that i don't feel good in. if i'm like going out i'm like okay should i go for this top that's comfortable or this top it's cute but it's very uncomfortable i'm gonna feel very uncomfortable for the whole day i'm not gonna go for it i love you we are parting ways. I have a couple things in like a maybe pile, which I'm not sure what to do about. It's the same one as the white top that I just showed you from Motel. This one has a zebra print, it has open back and like strings that you tie at the bottom. It has a different material, so it's not uncomfortable at all like the white one. <laughs> But it's just a zebra print that i'm like am i gonna be wearing the zebra print i don't know if zebra print is still like my thing but i think it's cute so i'm debating whether or not i should keep this i don't know the next thing is from motel as well and it's this really cute like little halter neck white top i actually might keep this it's cute for summer the thing is it's just a bit see-through which is kind of it's fine when it's like really hot outside but it's just like i don't feel the most comfortable in it so that's what kind of is making me debate whether or not i should keep Keep this then I have this blazer from Zara which is absolutely beautiful it's this orange little blazer and then this ties around your stomach it's very cute but the thing I've realized is that orange is just not my color I don't like myself in orange for some reason you might not agree with me but I just don't think orange is my color whenever I put this blazer on I don't feel great that should be reason enough for me to get rid of it but I just think it's such a beautiful blazer that I'm kind of like I want to love it, so that's what makes me debate keeping it. I don't know. If I had it in like a green or just a white, I would absolutely love it. It's not vibing. Then we have another pair of jeans from Motel Rocks. Now, these jeans, when I first got them, I absolutely loved them. I think they're so fun. Like, I think the print is actually really fun. Oh, these are actually from Jaded, not Motel. I know like these types of patchwork jeans were like kind of a micro trend like a year and a half ago. I still do think they're really cool. I never really wear them. I feel like my style has kind of gone a little bit away from this 
more towards like classic prints, classic silhouettes. There's still something about this that I do think is really cool. So I'm considering keeping one pair of like really fun jeans since I'm getting rid of the zebra ones just for a little bit and see how I feel if I use them. And now I'm gonna empty out the second row and see what I wanna keep from that. On the second rail the cats here are going absolutely crazy chasing after all the clothes so these are the things that i'm getting rid of i have this red opali dress it's actually really cute i wore this on last christmas but it's just not really my style i mean it's a good christmas dress but i don't know where else i would wear this now that i think about it maybe i should keep it just as like a christmas dress oh my god i don't know no i think i'm gonna get rid of it because i know that there are many other dresses that i have that i own that I like better than this so I'm gonna get rid of it I have this dress from pull and bear I really wanted to like this but I just don't like this color on me I love green on me but this color just does not suit me and I don't like the fabric as well it's just like this kind of don't like this fabric it's just not my favorite so she's going then we have this motel dress it's like a nice summer dress but for some reason i just don't really think the coloring suits me and i have so many cute summer dresses that i love so i think it's okay that i just get rid of those that aren't as good we have to be picky here because i have a lot of clothes that i absolutely love so if there's clothes in my closet in between that i'm like yeah it's okay it kind of distracts me and makes me think that i don't own anything that i like we have this motel Hotel dress that I got like two years ago. I've never worn it as like an actual outfit. I've only wore it as like a beach cover up when I just need a dress that I don't mind ruining with sun cream. I have four skirts that I'm getting rid of. This one is from Zara. I actually love this skirt. Story about this skirt I actually bought two of these. I bought it in extra small and small because I wasn't sure what size would fit me better. And I was meant to return the one that didn't fit, but I lost my receipt. So I just had to. It took me so long to decide which size I actually preferred but I think I'm gonna get rid of the small I'm always on the quest for the perfect black mini skirt I don't think I've found my absolute perfect one yet I have a couple that I really like so I think it's worth getting rid of those that are not as good there's no point in me having like six or seven black mini skirts when I have like two that are my favorite this one's from monkey has like a little belt here it's very cute but there's just something about it that's not really my favorite so I'm gonna get rid of this and then we have this Zara skirt which I actually really like this skirt but it's very uncomfortable because it's so tight and like not stretchy it keeps riding up so like whenever I'm walking it just rides up I want to have it around like here on my waist and it always ends up like right below my boobs because it rides up so fast and it also has a hole in the back so like I would have to get it mended and it's just not worth it for how uncomfortable it is and then I have another Zara skirt and I actually think this is the same type as the black one. I just have the same problem where I just feel so uncomfortable. I love the print, but whenever I walk, I just feel like my butt is on show. I'm never gonna reach for it. I got it last summer and I wore it once and I haven't worn it since. I have one dress that I want to keep, but it has a stain right here. So I need to try to get rid of that stain and if it works, then I'll keep it. If not, then I'll have to get rid of it. I have one more thing in my maybe pile, which is this jacket i just need to try it on again basically i thrifted this jacket it was only like 10 15 pounds so not that bad but i spent like a lot of money dry cleaning it because it was quite dirty and this is like suede which is very expensive to dry clean i feel like it's a bit too old for me so i might use it in like 10 years so then i'm like okay is it oh i, oh, I just stepped on my cat's tail i'm sorry i didn't know you were there i'm sorry I feel so bad. I don't know if it's worth keeping just like in case I wear it, but I don't know you guys. 
So this is what the closet's looking like right now. I'm just gonna go over some of the items that I decided to keep. Right here, we have all my tops. These are my white tops right here. So these are all ones that I use pretty often. This blouse I actually don't use that often, but it's really nice for like when I have to dress kind of fancy, but like kind of family appropriate if you know what i mean this cardigan is one of my absolute favorites for like fall and winter time it's so cute it's from zara and then here we have all my tops they're kind of like color coordinated they go from yellow pink purple blue green and then to brown here i have my black tops i don't have a lot because i don't wear a lot of black but i still like to keep some and then here we have some jackets i have my favorite cropped blazer i decided to keep this jacket in here just for a little bit this one's really cute then we have my pink checkered jacket and my pink checkered blazer my pink blazer green checkered blazer and my two black blazers up here are my skirts which is my favorite part here we have black skirts which kind of fade into like printed black skirts i have this like navy skirt green checkered skirt this like summery skirt green checkered skirt again and my absolute favorite addition to my wardrobe my vintage burberry skirt that my boyfriend got me for my birthday is this not just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life some brown skirts and some white skirts then here we have all my dresses i have a couple of black dresses just because it's good to have my favorite thing in the world are green dresses so i have a couple of those blue dresses i love my opali dresses purple multicolored yellow brown we have some like beige and all my white dresses white dresses are like my summer uniform or pretty much all season uniforms so i have a lot of white dresses this is the aftermath of everything that i decided to get rid of it's not like that much but compared to like i don't really own that many clothes compared to a lot of people in my opinion so compared to that i think this is quite a lot of stuff that i'm getting rid of so i'm quite happy with myself <laughs>